Well, hello. Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we feature musicians out of the Ventura area, as well as the musicians who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Kimball Auerbacher. I'm the lead vocalist. Hi, I'm Steve Sonneborg, and I'm the lead guitarist. I'm David Boyce. I am the drummer. My name is Kaylin, and I play keyboard. find Prima Donna Rising on the web, primadonnarising.com. That's our website. That's where I'd recommend going. We're also on Facebook at Prima Donna Rising. <laughs> and Instagram, Prima Donna Rising. Prima Donna Rising has a storied past and a long history. Originally founded in 1979 as Prima Donna, and we played until uh, late 1985. We were asked to come back um, in 2018. We were going to come back as Prima Donna Rising, as Prima Donna, because that was the band that that. Um, that the promoter wanted in the UK. By this time, though, there was probably a dozen prima donnas on the on the internet that you could find. So we thought, well, let's let's keep keep the name, but let's change it a little bit. And so we thought, prima donna rising because it's, it sounds kind of cool, and rising is a good thing. How we are different, and how we are the same. I was the singer in prima donna. I'm the singer in prima donna rising. Um, the other members of the band are players that I've known for 20 to 40 years, and they make up the band now. Tommy Rojo, about 35 years. Steven Sonnenberg, 20, 20, yeah, 12, 12, except when we, when we were on the strip together, yeah. playing the same yeah. shows um, way back when. And David Boyce, of course, New to the new to to us, but our favorite drummer, and then of course our keyboard player that you'll meet shortly, Kaylin Auerbacher, um, was not in the original Prima Donna, but we're delighted to have him in Prima Donna Rising. My favorite fan reaction is the cheering during guitar solos, which still kind of blows me away because it's just something I'm always working on, the little nitpicking things I need to work on, and I'm thinking cheering is like cool, but it trips me out when I throw a pick out in the audience and people actually scamper for it. They will dive for it. That's always kind of tripped me out. I always joke that my name's on the pick so they knew who, they knew who to return it to after the show. My favorite fan reaction is always feels good when your fans come up to you and say, 
You rocked the kit tonight. You sounded awesome. That's what I feel very special. And I connect it well with the audience. My favorite fan reaction is when people come up to me after the show and tell me how great of a keyboard player I am. The band tells me that but it, all the time. <laughs> but it doesn't. Well, I would say that my favorite fan reaction has changed from the early days. When the band originally started, I had favorite fan reactions back then that are different than the ones I have now. And I would say probably my favorite um, was when somebody came up to me and told me that they were actually inspired to follow a dream they had that they had long put away. And from hearing our song leading me on and some of the things that I had spoken about, they were inspired to, to go back to painting, uh, art painting. And that was pretty good. Um, it was a very satisfying, fulfilling thing to hear. If I could be a musician for a day, uh, it would be Michael Schenker, who's like my favorite guitar player, who really just motivated me to be the best that I can. Uh, he's played with UFO, Scorpions, and I've seen him like 37 times live. And uh, you know, I, I, I think it's not fair if somebody's that good, but super cool guy. I want to. I've always wanted to be just like him. I'm still working on it. I really wouldn't want to be any other musician than myself. <laughs> for <it. laughs> but, uh, yeah because if it's only for a day well I suppose I suppose let's see who's the let me think that's a tough question Michelle any other musician most most of the ones I can think of are I've already passed um, well Freddie Mercury I think was the the greatest rock singer it wouldn't. It would be pretty cool to sing like him for a day. Alice Cooper, pretty cool guy all the way around. Um, so, I guess possibly those two. But see, the one day thing, you just get a teaser. Okay, if I could be a different rock musician for a day, I would probably have to pick David Coverdale because he he's got the voice. He, he's the epitome of the rock voice. He's got the look. He's got the stage presence. He had gr he was been in great bands, great singer. Who could ask for anything more? David Coverdale. If I could be any musician, why I would be Paul McCartney. Oh, because Excellent. you can't go wrong with being a Beatle. Although, if I had a choice to be another rock musician, I think I too would be Paul McCartney because the Beatles were the greatest band. I've changed it. To <laughs> but, but that's that is. <laughs> that has been he actually wants to be Billy. He wants to be Billy Eilish. <laughs> I would have to say Tommy Aldridge, just because I am a brutal and I like to beat the kit, break sticks, and break crash. Symbols, okay. So that'd be the ideal place to be for a day being in his shoes. Prima Donna rising in 2020, a ah, lot of things going on. 
the one coming up soonest is the George Lynch Lynch Mob show yeah. at the Canyon, which the Stephen Hills, yeah. And then of course we're doing the Rainbow 48th anniversary um, concert in the parking lot. We've got uh, well, of course we've got the Ireland and the UK tour coming up. Very excited about that. And we've got the we got the CD coming out. Um, that, that should be out any. Any time, any time now, <laughs> and let's see. Doc and George oh, Lentz, where the whiskey direct support for that. August twenty second. August twenty second. July thirtieth, we will be headlining the Whiskey A Go Go. Make sure to come out and support. And, and like Dave said, we've got LA Guns at the Whiskey when we get back from the UK tour. It's, although it's UK and Ireland because Ireland's not part of the UK. We got to be clear about that. Um, yeah, and just, I know we've got something in September, October. Grim just, Reaper. Grim Reaper. And um, what else we have? David? Australian Band. Oh! Rose Tattoo. Oh, yeah, Rose Tattoo at the Whiskey again. Saturday, May 9th. May 9th. <laughs> Be there. Be there. <laughs> We would like to thank Ventura Rock Spot for having us today. We'd like to thank all of our friends and fans, which we think of as the same thing, for supporting us and coming out, seeing us, being there for us, um, welcoming us back on the second time around, because without you, we couldn't do what we do. So we all want to say a big thank you to you.